The Volkswagen Beetle Saloon was first created in 1963 for an exhibition at Gallery Schmeller. And the owner of the car wanted it back, so it was had to be unwrapped and went back. And then again, Christo did the Volkswagen Beetle Saloon model 1961 in 2014 in our storage at Kraft in Basel. And now I'm very excited because Dazzle Unlimited has accepted Gagosian's proposal to show it at their fantastic show. 2014, we decided to do it and we searched for the same car because there's a big difference, I found out, through the research for the car. The International Bumpers has these more ornate details on the front and he liked the color too, this very uh, Sarge color. Crystal decided to wrap the car again and wanted to uh, do it because it really, that car was very symbolic for him. I had gotten some samples for him of this very heavy waxed cotton, which is used for truck tarps. And he really liked this very mustard yellow color. Crystal really wanted these gray ropes. And we had to have the factory that we usually work on the projects to produce these ropes for us. Crystal always did preparatory drawings in order to clarify the vision. The same with the beetle. There are a few preparatory drawings that he did with the Beetle. It's kind of like the blueprint from where you start when you take the fabric and you put the fabric where you start with which rope where, and he imagines it like this. The act of wrapping objects for Crystal was always about revealing through concealing. It, in a way, that's always was kind of the, the mantra that you spark this curiosity of what's behind and you try to guess of what's behind. This is the reveal through conceal part. With the Volkswagen Beetle, you cannot hide the shape. It's such an iconic car. No matter what you do to it, you always it's recognizable as the Beetle. It's also interesting because Crystal's work has always been about freedom and about freedom of expression. And this, so I think it's even more iconic that the Beetle, which we connect so much to this uh, counterculture and freedom, he really loved the way the body was just like, you can see the Beetle was imprinted on the fabric, especially with the wax and everything else. Then he just would try a rope this way and try a rope that way and say, no, that looks good, that looks stupid, that doesn't look right, and, uh, and that's how he did it.